<clears throat> Good morning, you guys. Happy Friday. I am so excited for today. Um, and I'm going to do this training. And um, this is so important. It is so simple. But if you can get this day down, if you can harness what this day does and you can do it right, this will literally change your whole entire business. So I'm very, very excited to um, talk with you guys about Follow Up Friday. Um, yes, I'm in my I'm in my laundry room. There's a there's a window here that's like perfect, so I can just set it up. Okay. So as you're hopping on, tag your team, tag a friend. Let's hop into it. Okay. So I want to tell you a quick story. When I started in this industry, I was like a hungry tiger out there in the world looking around for my prey, okay? I was just like, all right? And I was I was I was I was hungry, I was driven, I had goals, I I had to meet them. There was no if ands or buts about the things that I needed to do with my business because we were we had no money. I was hanging up sheets in my living room in the doorways and sleeping in my living room next to the fireplace because we could not afford to turn our electric heat on. Has anybody had electric heat? It is terrible. It is the worst freaking way to heat a home, okay? I was so hungry to feel in control of my life and my finances. That's what I'm talking about. I was a tiger on the prowl. I was not afraid to go out there and talk to people, put myself out there and get uncomfortable. Okay. But what did I do every day? I posted and I was talking to people. But what I did not do is I did not track a single person that I was talking to. So Every day, I'm talking to as many people as I can. I am making success happen for me. I am making these conversations come. If people did not come to me, I was going to them. And I was willing to go to them also. And what I started to realize as I started to do this, Chip, stop it. As I started to do this was people started slipping through the cracks, right? What I also noticed, so people were slipping through the cracks, number one. I was forgetting who the heck I was talking about. Number two, hold on, I have like a bajillion text messages coming in. Number two, um, a lot of people were telling me, I cannot right now. I don't have money right now. I, uh, I don't get paid right now. And I started to get a little discouraged. I was like, well, what the heck? Every single person I talk to is telling me they don't have money, that, that they can't. And it started to make me feel a certain type of way. And it was one day to very, very, also, can we just take one second? You guys, look at where I live. Can we just take one moment? Look at this. I, if I have, like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding? Look at this. All the trees are covered in ice. God, is it pretty? Okay. It's like wild. Oh my God. Wow. Okay. So two, two very, very important days in my life that changed everything for me was this. Actually three. Three days. Number one, this was the first day. The first day was that, was right in the beginning of my business when I made this decision inside of myself that I was going to talk to as many people as I possibly could every single day. It had nothing to do with the follow-up, but I was willing to talk to as many people as I could every day. I was going to talk to however many people I needed to talk to until I got, it, got the yes that I needed. I knew that I wanted to build a team because in that company, we had charts. We had to have specific numbers of team people on our team. Had to have certain people at ranks. And I was driven. I was driven. I needed to go bronze. Our equivalent to bronze. Bronze is $1,700 a month. I needed that. I needed diapers. I needed to pay my bills. I needed to be able to have my husband come home and not look defeated. I needed it. I was driven and I was hungry. Okay. So that was number one. 
I was willing to do whatever it took and I was willing to talk to however many people. And even when the no's got me down or the people who didn't reply and the people who told me they didn't have money right now, I kept going. That's number one. Number two, one of the most important days in my business. Don't, don't, don't. One of my very good friends in business at the time, we were talking late at night. How many of you guys have done this? If you have not done this, become really good friends with the people who you're surrounded with, okay? And when your spouses are working third shifts or you need someone to be there for you because my husband wasn't super positive about what I was doing and I didn't have a lot of friends. And so her and I would hop on the phone because there was no Zoom and we would just sit there and work together. We would just hold each other accountable at night, late at night, and we would push ourselves. We were talking. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm on Fridays, I would go through, I've always done a follow-up Friday. On Fridays, I would go through and my follow-up strategy was to just go back in my messages and scroll down. And I was missing so many conversations. And I was like, oh my God, look at all these people that I didn't reply to. I like didn't continue the conversation. I forgot about them. Someone told me they wanted to order on a Tuesday. Like, oh my gosh. And my friend said to me, I use a planner. And I was like, what do you mean you use a planner? Like, I'm not a planner girl. I've never been a planner girl. I'm not organized. She said, I just use a day, a day planner. And every time I talk to someone, I put them in my schedule to follow up with them. So that day, that's the second thing that changed my whole business was the day that I realized I have to get a little organized. Now, I'm not telling you that you've got to like, you know, go scrapbook and stuff like that. Because listen, don't, don't be busy. You don't get paid to be busy. Just get a planner. Mine was $1 and it was blue and small. I probably still have it in my drawer. I can, t- I can show you. It was small, but it did its job. And every single day when I would talk to people, I would write their name down and I would make sure before I closed out my day, before I stopped working for the day, every single person that I had talked to would go into my planner for me to follow up with them whether it needed to be tomorrow or the day that they told me that they could enroll. So that means every single person, if I talk to Jessica and I talked to her this morning and we just haven't talked for the rest of the day, I would say, okay, I would finish out the conversation and I would say, okay, when, when can you get started? I'll get you in my schedule to reserve your spot. And I used to use that term when I was in the salon and it worked amazing. It's just a really nice fluid way. So that's day two, organizing my people. The third most important day was... I was sitting down, okay, and it was October, and I had my planner, and I had 15 names on a Friday, and I would go, and I would message these people, and there would be people who wouldn't answer or would tell me, again, that they could not order or they could not enroll on the day that they told me that they could, and every Friday... I started to dread Fridays because it made me so anxious. It gave me so much anxiety because I was like, what the hell? Like these people said they were going to and now they're not. And like, what if I can't be successful? And like, what am I supposed to do? And I would start to implode. And on this day, I realized something and a light bulb went off in my brain. And if you guys can harness this light bulb and then the wording I'm going to be giving you, It's going to change everything. Are you ready for this? Okay. I sat there and I looked at my planner and I started to scroll back. I can't see any, I can't see any comments. I'll look at the comments afterwards. So if you guys can comment below, make sure you tag your team, make sure you guys share this. If you guys are in the leader chat, if you could share in the leader chat, I would really appreciate it. (coughs) I sat there and I said, I looked at every single Friday and all the names that were on every Friday. And I realized for over a year at this point, over a year, every single Friday, I would follow up with people. I would follow up with people who I talked to last week that didn't reply. And I started to realize, why am I getting so upset and so anxious when I'm going to follow up with them anyways, if they don't reply, or I'm just going to ask them what day can't, you know, like, it's okay if you can't today. When can you? I'll get you in my schedule. Why am I getting anxious? If I'm going to be doing this for a long, long time, 
if I remove the emotions and I look at like the, 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 the fact of the matter is that following up is a part of what I do. This is how I'm enrolling. I already know if I have all these names on a Friday of people who said that they're going to order or enroll, I already know that a spe- like pretty much a consistent fraction of them is going to enroll. So what if I stop getting anxious? What if I stop punishing myself? What if I stop judging myself? And I just look at follow up Friday for what it is. It's follow up Friday. What if that's all I did? And I went into this with zero expectations, knowing that if I have as many names on this Friday as I possibly can, somebody's going to enroll, okay? If every single day, every other day of the week, I'm talking to as many people as I possibly can, and I'm just filling up my Fridays with people tell me, telling me, obviously, this is a numbers game. If I have 10 people to follow up with on a Friday, one will enroll. If I have 20, two will enroll. If I have 30, three will enroll. If I have 40, four will enroll. So why don't I just talk to as many people as I can and like stop being, you know, getting my panties in a bunch and just like live my life and just do the things. And that was the day that I got so empowered about Fridays. I stopped feeling sorry for myself. I stopped being anxious and Fridays just became a day that was a part of my business and that it was very important. And I didn't judge myself because I knew no matter what, I was going to go follow up with everybody that I had talked to, like going backwards. So I would look at my calendar. I'm going to look at last week and the week before and the week before and the week before and the week before. And that is when I started to realize everybody that I talk to has a different level of belief in themselves and then understanding of who I am and what I do. So if I talk to Candace for the first time today, it might take her three to six months of watching me and seeing who I am and me following up with her for her to enroll. That's fine. I'll be here in six months. If I talk to Brianne, she's been watching me for a few years and she like is comfortable with me and I give her information. Maybe she enrolls next week. I don't care because guess what? I need business next week and I need business in six, six months. So not only are you building your business right now for right now, you're doing it for the future. So what does that mean? We have to stop feeling some sort of way when we're talking to as many people as we possibly can and instead use it to our advantage with what we know. If you guys talk to as many people as you possibly can today, every single day, weeks and weeks and weeks and months going forward, you are going to have a very long list of people to talk to. And you want to know what's so cool about Q? And I'm going to go into some wording and I'm going to teach you guys really quick about the um, infinity follow-up. The the cool thing about Q, you guys, is we're releasing something brand new at least like every 40 days. So there's always something new to reach out and talk to people about. Okay? So let's get into some wording. All right? When you are following up with people, there's some things that you do and don't want to say. All right? The number one thing that I'm going to share with you to not say is to message someone and ask them, are you still interested? Because here's the deal. Unless all of a sudden someone won the lottery and maybe they were interested in the business, if someone won the lottery, unless they won the lottery, which they didn't, we know they didn't, they're always going to be interested in making extra money. So don't ask that question. Because if I ask Brianne, are you still interested? Her reply can be no. And if she says no, I have just cut off the ability to follow up with her now, right? So there is so much power in your words. You have to understand, if I ask someone, how was your day today? They will most likely say good or bad. If I ask someone, tell me about your day, they will go and they will tell me about their day. They will share the story of their day. Do you see how the things that you ask yield a specific response? right? What? Okay. Does that make sense? So when I go follow up with people, the other thing I do not do, I don't do passive stuff. I don't like passive. And here's the reason why some of you guys think that by being like, Oh, Hey, I know we were talking about this. Just like, Let me know if like you're still interested. I just, because you think that like being passive makes you like nice because you're scared of being pushy. 
here's the deal. All right. And I, I'm telling you guys, like, I swear to you, this will be the only time I do this training and we'll just be able to use this forever. This is going to change your life. I promise you, if you listen to these things, those three things in this wording, be assertive. Being passive like that, you guys, people want to join people who are confident. When you are, when oh, like, let me know. When you're like that, what they feel is, is this person like confident? You can be kind. Don't be a douchebag. That's all I can say. Like, if you're worried about being pushy, don't just don't be mean. If someone says no, say, okay. Like, you know, if someone says, I just don't have money, don't go to their page and say, oh, I just saw you bought Starbucks. So like, obviously you just don't want to invest your money, you know, into yourself. Like, don't be rude. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, don't be mean. That's, that's being pushy. I want you to be assertive. I want you to just go for it. I don't want you to beat around the bush. People do not care if you have an agenda. They care when you hide it. So when you're like, hey, Haley, how are you? How's the baby? How are things? How was Christmas? How was your breakfast? You're making like weird small talk. Now imagine I'm at the salon and I have a full day booked. I've got things to do. I want to be able to get out of the salon. You know, I'm, I'm there at eight o'clock. I want to be able to get out of there at seven so I can go and pick up my kid. I got things to do. And Haley comes and sits in my chair. I was a hairstylist. Haley comes and sits in my chair and we go do a consultation. And I got, I have another client in an hour and a half. Also, you guys, Q Core is really working for me. If you guys have not been using Q Core, go get it. Cause I feel, I'm on my period and I feel so good. I know it's TMI, but I'm just saying, okay? So I've got a whole day booked and I put Haley in my chair. And before we even talk about what, what she wants to do for color, I gotta go mix her color. I gotta apply foils. That shit takes time. I'm like, Haley, how's your baby? How's life? What's your favorite color? How are things going? No, when she gets in my chair, I got to say, all right, what are we doing today? Okay, let's go look at colors. Let's figure it out. Okay, perfect. I'm going to go mix your color. I'll be back. Then while I'm doing her hair, then we'll make small talk. She does not care that I'm getting right to the point of what's going on. Do you know what I'm saying? If Haley was in my schedule to come in on Friday as a client and I'm a hairstylist, this is why I, I like you guys, what we do is so much like being a hairstylist. That's why I freaking love it because when I put it in different terms, then we don't have to be weird. You know what I'm saying? If Haley's in my book to come in on Friday and I follow up with her to make sure she's coming in, I'm not going to like beat around the bush and ask her how her grandma is. Cause I'm so scared. She's going to think I'm being pushy that she's, she's the one that told me she's coming in on Friday. I'm going to say, Hey, Haley, it's Jade. I, are you coming on Friday? I'm so excited for you. I'm so excited to work with you. Do you see what I'm saying? I would just get to the damn point. All right. So when you're following up with people, we do not say, let me know. Cause they will never let you know. They will never let you know. That's not their job to let you know. Do not say, let me know. Let me, let me know. Don't say it. They're not going to let you know. Stop it. Don't, don't set yourself up for that. Okay. Number one, number two, do not say, are you still interested? Those are two phrases we don't say, period. We don't. We're not, we're not doing that, okay? Because you take control of the conversation. All right, so what do we say? That's it. Don't say those things and you'll be good, okay? What we do say is, hey, I got you on my schedule for today. Well, because here's the thing. Like I told you guys before, if I talked to Haley last week, Tuesday, and she says to me, I don't have money, I say, okay, perfect. When will you? I'll get you in my schedule to reserve your spot. That is this hairstylist term. <laughs> and it works so good because I am. I'm putting her in my schedule, right? I'm reserving that time for her to help her get started. I have her in my planner. So if you guys, when you're talking to people, so you don't feel weird when they say they don't have money, don't say, okay, no girl that one time I will never forget. And I never did it again. This is probably time number four that changed my life. There was a woman that I was talking to. We were talking about products and all these things. And she said, I don't have money right now. And I said, oh, okay. 
right? Because inside we're like so self-consciously worried that like I'm broke, so everybody must be broke, right? You're like, dang, I can barely afford the products. Why, how can anybody else afford the products? I'm here to build a business. How am I gonna make any money? Because everybody's broke. No, you're doing that for yourself. You're doing that to yourself. So I said to her, I hope you guys listen, learn from my experience because it, this made me pucker my butthole. I was so embarrassed. I said, oh, okay, I understand. And she goes, girl, I'm not broke. I just don't get paid yet. And I was like, oh, I'm sorry. Like I was so scared I was offending her. And from that day on, that never happened to me again. That never happened to me again. I was like, okay. What? So I started to ask people, when will you have it? I will get you in my schedule to reserve your spot. And that is also a great way to not be pushy. When will you? I respect that. When can you? Okay. So, hey, I'm so excited to get you started today. It's going to take like five minutes and we're going to get you launched. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm not saying, are you still interested? Because here's the deal. If Haley's, I say to Haley, are you ready? She says, no. I had an unexpected bill come up. I need to wait. Oh, girl, that's fine. When do you think I can get you in my schedule to reserve your spot? I'm just saying the same thing again and getting her in my planner again. If I say, are you ready? And she goes, yes, girl, I am ready. Let's do it. We get her going. Hey, Haley, I'm so excited I got you in my planner today for greens. We start our newest uh, detox challenge, our gut reset. I'm so pumped. Are you ready? You ready to get that order through? I'm placing orders now. Can I help you place yours? I'm not asking if they're still interested. I'm just asking, are you ready now? Does this make sense? How many of you guys are like, damn, I've been saying the things you shouldn't say. (laughs) You're fine. Just are you ready? Hey, I got your spot in my calendar. I'm, 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 I really work one-on-one with my team. I'm so excited to get you launched. Are you ready? That's it. Are you ready? Hey, hey girl, I got you on my planner for, uh, and here's the thing. Now going backwards, some of you guys are like, shit, I'm not even getting people in my planner. Fix it. Clean it up. I'm not saying anything. So, so let's walk through the journey of this one more time. I am talking to Jordan. Okay. Let's say today is Tuesday. I am talking, so I'm, I got my post up for the day. I made a reel. I'm getting some messages from that, and I'm having conversations. For today, I'm writing, I'm writing down all the people that are engaging in conversation with me on a piece of paper. You can do a sticky note. I had to get a big, big sticky note. Um, and so I'm writing everybody's name down, okay? So before I end my day, I have to get every single one of these names in my planner to follow up with them. So I talked to Haley. Her and I are talking about the business. I asked her a question. She didn't reply to me. I'm going to follow up in our, in our conversation. And I'm going to say to her, does that make sense? The phrase, does that make sense, can pretty much be asked at any point in a question. Even if it kind of feels weird, just get over it. It's the best thing to ask to continue the conversation. You tell them how much it is to get started. You give them the call information. You tell them your story and they just read it and you're like, oh, they ghosted me. They didn't ghost you. They just got busy. Like relax. Okay. So anytime in that conversation, I will say to Haley, does that make sense? She will say, yeah, (coughs) yes, perfect. Yep. That does make sense. Or no, I have questions on this and this. Now we got that conversation going again. So we get to the point where we go over how much it costs to get started. And Haley says, I don't have the money right now. I say, that's totally fine. When will you? I'll get you in my planner to reserve your spot. She says Friday. I say, okay, perfect. What's your number? I'll get you in there. To me, when people give me their phone number, it just shows that they're serious because they're willing to give me their phone number. So I put her in my planner. Next on the list is Jordan. Jordan and I are talking about, you know, Q core and the gut reset. I give her information on Q core. I give her information on the price. She stops. I'm like, holy cow. She stopped replying from our conversation today. So I'm going to, before I end my day, I'm going through every single person and making sure, did I get all the way through the conversation with them to where I can say, are you ready now? 
they say yes or no. And if they say no, I said, when will you be so I can get you in my schedule to reserve your spot? Do you see how it's the same thing every single time? So Jordan says to, or who, who, Jordan says to me, I go follow up. I say, hey, are you ready to get that through? I can walk you through it. She says, no. Um, can we do it tomorrow? I say, yes, perfect. What's your number? I'll get you in my planner to reserve your spot. I put her in my planner for tomorrow. I go through. Now I'm talking to Sam. Okay. Now I'm talking to Sam. Sam and I were talking about the business today. I wrote her name down. I wrote Sam street ambassador P ambassador. I say, Hey, I'm so pumped for you. Are you ready now? Are you ready to, to get started? I can walk you through it. She says, yes. So I start walking her through it before I end the day. It's simple. So now I'm doing this every day. Every day I'm talking to new people. <coughs> every day I'm opening up my planner. Because what did I say? Jordan told me she had to wait until tomorrow to order. So I have her name written down in my planner. So when I open up my planner, I see Jordan's name. So the first thing I'm going to do Tomorrow is open on my planner and message Jordan and say, hey, I got you on my schedule. Are you ready to get started? It'll take like five minutes to get your order in. And she's like, okay. Or no, I need to wait till Friday because I get paid Friday. Okay, cool. I'll get you in my schedule to reserve your spot for Friday. So you're going to see you just kind of move people around in your planner a little bit. Does this make sense? Great. Okay. So your goal is to talk to as many people as you possibly can. So you can follow up with his, and I'm going to let you guys in on a secret. Like I just said before, this was one of the most defining days of my business. Get used to the fact that you'll have people in your planner that will not order when they say they're going to. The first week I ever had in business, I had to get four customers so I could earn a bonus. And I was like, it was like a Tuesday or a Monday or Tuesday. And I was like, dude, I got like 12 people who tell me that they're going to order on Friday. So I don't care. <laughs> like, I felt like I was good. So I almost didn't show up as much for the rest of the week because I thought I had enough people. I was like, I'm good. Whatever. I'm hitting my first goal. Friday came and I followed up with people. One ordered and I cried. I said, what is wrong with me? What the hell? Why didn't they order? And I realized I have to talk to more people every day, no matter what. Does this make sense? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so relax. Don't judge yourself. Now let's talk about the infinity follow-up. Okay. I am talking. I talked to Jordan. She, I follow up with her and she's pushing it off or she stopped replying. That's okay, guys. A lot of the times when people stop replying, it's because they're too embarrassed to tell you what's going on in their life or they're scared. That's not my business. I'm not going to shame her. So on this week, Friday, I'm going to message Jordan what we talked about. I'm going to talk to her about the gut reset challenge. I'm going to say, hey, I got your spot open for the gut reset challenge. It'll take a couple minutes to get your order through. You're ready. She doesn't reply. Next week, Friday, I'm going to do my follow-ups. And I'm scrolling back through my weeks and my days of who I talk to. And I see Jordan's name. And I'm going to message her again. I'm going to say, hey, girl, I still have that spot saved for you. I'd love to help you get started. Are you ready? She still ignores me. Now, a lot of you guys will be feeling some type of way. And you start imploding. And you start getting ready, gathering your message to Jade Hooper saying, I think I have to quit. No one wants this. No one's interested. No one has money. No one said that. They didn't reply. You just took it the wrong way. So the next week, Jordan does not, she has not answered me yet, or she still is not ready. What am I going to do? I'm now going to initiate infinity follow-up. I want to stay in her back pocket because here's the deal, you guys. People are going to join with the first person who talked to them and the last person who talked to them. If you guys do not follow up with people, and you do not stay consistent with following up with people, they are going to enroll with someone else. It does not matter if I was the first person to talk to Jordan. If week three, I stopped talking to her, and a few weeks later, when... I made, I made a pepperoni. Oh my gosh, those are beautiful pepperoni. And Jessica comes up and messages Jordan four weeks later, 
and Jordan is ready in that moment. She's and Jessica says, do you want to order? Jordan will say, well, I haven't heard from my girl in a while. She, you know, she was talking to me, but she stopped talking to me. So yeah, I'll order with you. This has happened. This has happened. You need to be the first person and the last person to talk to someone. Your follow-up Fridays after three, for sure three weeks in this business are going to be like, it is a whole, I mean, you're, I mean, you should have tons and tons and tons of people to follow up with. Okay. So what am I going to do? How, how do I, how do I keep talking to Jordan then? So I don't sound annoying. Hey, are you still interested in the gut reset? Hey, are you still interested in the gut reset? No, I'm not going to say that. I'm going to message her and say, Hey, I don't know if you'd be interested, but I do have a spot open on my team. I would love to give you information. I don't know if you've ever thought about it. I'm going to message her about something else. I'm just going to drop it. Okay. Um, then the following Friday, hey, we just came out with our non-toxic line. Everybody is loving it. Would you be interested at all? Um, I can send you some info. Next week, hey, I still have that spot open up for that, um, for my gut reset challenge. We're starting a new one next week. Are you interested? So I'm just going to bop her different things. Hey, we just came out with this new product. It does this, this, and this. Are you interested at all? I can send you some info. Now, I will tell you that I do ask people in that sense when I'm infinity following up with them, when I'm just sharing random things with them, I will ask them then if they are interested because I'm sharing them things that they've never heard before. But if I'm following up with them about what we talked about, the business or a specific product, I'm not going to ask them if they're interested. So if I go back to, hey, I know that we were talking about um, the gut reset, and I've got another one starting next week. Are you ready? That one becomes an are you ready? Does that make sense? Okay. <clears throat> Perfect. So that's what you're going to do. I'm going to just stay in Jordan's back pocket. I'm not being pushy. I'm just here. I'm showing up. Because when Jordan's ready, even if it's six weeks or 12 weeks, seven months down the line, I will be there. I did not push her. I was there when she was ready. Another one that I love is, hey, um, do you have any questions since the last time that we talked? Like if someone tells me that they need to wait like two weeks or more to get started, I will show up in their inbox every single week just telling them I'm so excited to work with you. Do you have any questions since the last time that we talked? The reason why I do this again is even if Jordan told me that she was going to enroll with me next month on the 15th, you just, you don't know what can happen in between now and the 15th. You don't know if she stumbled upon some money and can get started even earlier. You don't know if maybe there's a sale on a product that she wants to scoop up first in the meantime. Maybe, like you just do not know. And you don't want anybody else to pop up in between and scoop her up. And people do not do this to hurt your feelings. They just don't understand. They don't understand that, you know, that you're like not on the same team and that it does matter. Do you know what I'm, do you know what I'm saying? Like they just don't get it. So you can't get like offended. They just don't get it. They don't know that it matters. So if you're going to do the work and you're going to be out there talking to people, you better be writing their freaking names down. You better be making sure you, you, you continue through that whole conversation so you can follow up with them. And then just, just know your stuff. Hey, um, I don't know if you'd be interested, but we have this product called Q Twist. I saw you. Thanks for the love on, you know, in my stories. Um, Twist is amazing. It's a CBD infused drink. Crave is my favorite. It tastes like a Sonic Blue slushy. Um, I'd love to give you some info if you'd be interested. What you're going to find, you guys, is people are like, yes, I'm watching, like whatever. Just this is how you become really good at what we do is by getting comfortable with the follow-up, just knowing what to say and what not to say, not being weird about it, and doing your job. Your planner should be your tool. Now, someone asked, do, do you use a paper planner? Do you use a, an app? I don't care what you use as long as you use it. Everybody has different lives. It was way easier for me to have a paper planner with one child than it is with three because I still have two little girls. I have an almost six-year-old and a four-year-old, which is weird. I haven't gotten, I haven't gotten used to 
saying that Lucy was four. Lucy's four and Lennox is going to be six in like two weeks. <laughs> oh, my kids are old. It's so weird. But anyways, okay. So if you soak up this knowledge, this has never changed. This information, I've been doing this for 10 years. I've got multiple million dollar earner trophies to, to just show you that I know what I'm doing. I want you guys to know that this, this has not changed in 10 years. The follow-up will always be the follow-up. It will always be important, okay? If you are only following up with the same people every single week, you're not talking to enough people. You cannot build a lifetime business off of just your family and friends. You cannot build a lifetime business off of the same 100 people because you guys, some people are just not gonna order from you. Some people are just not gonna join your team. That's okay, we want to find the ones that do, okay? And you have to stop taking it so personally. So when you lock those, those three things in, I promise you this is going to change some, some things for you guys big time, okay? All right, you guys, I love you so much. I hope you have an amazing day. We'll talk to you guys later.